How to peel a hard-boiled egg easily. Welcome to Rain's Kitchen and Garden. My name is Rain. Today I'm going to show you how I make easy to peel hard-boiled eggs. I feed my dogs eggs every day and with four dogs I go through at least 60 eggs a month. So I need a fast and easy way to peel them. Let me show you how. I have a pot of water here and I'm going to add just a pinch of baking soda and a little pinch of salt as well. And I'm going to bring that to a boil. Now according to the website Delish, adding baking soda helps the eggs loosen from the shell. And apparently adding salt to the water helps the egg white to solidify if there are tiny cracks in the eggs. And I've read this on multiple websites. I don't know if this really helps make it easier to peel, but it works for me so I continue to do it. When the water boils, I carefully place each egg into the pot. These are grocery store eggs. They're large and I usually boil eight at a time. Just make sure they're not crowded and that they're covered with water. After I have the eggs in the pot, I lower it to a simmer and I let it simmer for about 13 minutes. Once the time is done, I empty the pot of the boiling water and I run cold water into the pot for about 10 minutes. Ideally, you want to place the eggs in an ice bath, but let's be honest, sometimes we don't have that much ice handy, so a little trickle of cold water in the pot for 10 minutes does the job very well. So now it's time to peel the eggs and this is how I do it. I take my egg and I tap it on the top to break the shell, once on the bottom and a little bit on the side, okay? And then I start from the bottom and I peel from the bottom. And you want to make sure that you break the membrane. Now the, you'll know because the membrane, when it's broken, the egg is very soft. And the shell should come right off. Here we go. I have a little bowl of water here to get the little bits of shell off. And look at that, a perfect hard boiled egg. Now usually I do this over the sink with running water. That way I know I'm not gonna get shell all over my fingers and I don't have to dip the egg to get the rest of the shell off, but I don't have very good lighting over there. So I'm doing it over here on my stove, but really it's much easier if you do this under running water. There we go. I love this. Isn't that nice? Beautiful hard boiled egg. And all this is going to go into my compost pile. I honestly didn't know how to peel an egg properly until very recently. <laughs> I guess when I'm making so many eggs for my dogs, I started to get frustrated because I couldn't understand why the peel, oops, that fell on the ground. I couldn't understand why the peel was sticking so badly to the eggs. And then I did a little bit of research and 
Now look. Oh, my dog is dreaming in the background. <laughs> dreaming of eggs, perhaps. <laughs> Now, hard-boiled eggs, whether they are peeled or not, will store very well in the fridge for up to a week. Just make sure you eat them within a week. And I'm going to show you a little bit of footage right now of an old egg that I overcooked. If you notice, it has green, a grayish kind of green around the yolk. That's because I overcooked it. Now it's not dangerous to eat, but it's kind of icky to look at. So what you want to do is just reduce your boiling time a little bit until you get a nice, beautiful white and yellow egg. I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to give some to my dogs. Usually they get them with their, their meal. They get half an egg a day each and I split it up into, I give them a quarter in their breakfast and a quarter of an egg with their supper. But they're going to get a special treat today for the video. And it'll be interesting to see because I recently adopted three shelter dogs and they gobble the eggs up. But my Rottweiler, who I've had for two years now, she doesn't seem to enjoy eating the egg on its own, but she'll eat it when it's in her food. <laughs> so I'm going to see how she reacts to this. These are fresh. Oh, they look so great. Leave me a comment and tell me if you have any tricks to share. I know I've heard vinegar is another thing that you can put in the water. Some people claim that they don't need to put anything in the water and the peels come off really easily. I haven't really experimented with anything different than what I'm doing because it works and I'm happy it works. And I don't want to change something if it works, right? Why reinvent the wheel? <laughs> so there are my beautiful, easy peeled, hard boiled eggs. You guys want some eggs? You want some eggs? Okay, hold on. This is for Lucy. Ooh, there you go, Lucy. Ooh, it's so yummy. <laughs> this is for Raven. Let's see if she eats it. Come on, Raven. She put it on the floor. I don't know if you can see. No, nope, Benny. Lay down, Benny. Lay down. Okay, give me the right. <laughs> Good boy. This is for Benny. And this is for Miley. Good. That's it, guys. All gone. Good job. And Raven ate it. Good girl. You can lick it, Benny. <laughs> Everybody wants to lick it. Yes, that was so good, wasn't it? <laughs> Raven, you want it? Good girl. All right, give me a kiss, baby. Mm. <laughs>